Absolutely. And Ryan, let me bring you in because it, it was after the individual mandate was upheld by the Supreme Court that you had uh, some Tea Party members and others uh, saying that Chief Justice John Roberts was a traitor. Uh, there were all kinds of incendiary things said about uh, him following that decision. That was a great disappointment. So is this a split? Does anyone get any true momentum when you look at the individual mandate uh, into this decision regarding contraception? Possibly. But, you know, Kennedy, I think, is really the key vote here because he said essentially that there's an exception that, you know, by providing that exception, the government provided a path, I think, for this basically to provide this to, relig you know, non-religious entities as well, corporations. Mm -hmm. So it is a very big opinion. And I think that the Ginsburg dissent really laid out essentially how we don't know how this is going to play out in the lower courts when they actually get around to interpreting how far this can actually expand and for to your other point, corporations. The other layer of this story um, from the politics of it to concerns uh, of the, the Supreme Court and, um, and its latest rulings and how it falls amongst the conservatives um, within that group. Also, a lot of people, Ryan, are wondering about the women who are on the Supreme Court and where they fell in this decision. Yeah, I mean, you could sort of all see them lining up on the one side of this. This was all the women uh, joined dissents, varying dissents against this opinion. So, yeah, I think that definitely plays into the politics of it when you have all the male justices on the court ruling one way and a lot of the uh, members of a majority religion also uh, ruling one way on this case.